Hey everyone and welcome to today's episode. So today we got quite a few jobs that we need to do. We're gonna get the dashboard back in the car, we're gonna take the headliner out, and we're also gonna take the curtain airbags as well as the seat belt or the seat airbag out of the car. Now, we ain't got much to finish this car off now, but because of the current um, situation with the coronavirus, that's put all my deliveries at a halt. So I reckon we've probably got about three, maybe four episodes uh, to finish the car off, but that's gonna take a little bit of time, understandably. So anyway, let's get on. Let's get these bits and pieces sorted on the car. And I'm also going to put the um, air conditioning pipes back in the car as well. Okay, so here is our new dashboard. Um, the first thing we need to do, I need to get, there's a speaker in the old one that needs to go into here. So I'm gonna take it out of the old one first and then we'll put it in here. Since the old one is my sacrificial lamb, we can um, break that one. And then once we know how to do it, we'll do it right on this one. So let's get the new one or the old dashboard up here and get the speaker out. Okay, so we've managed to take the speaker out of the old one and we've placed it into the new one. The Basically, there is a grill and I'll get it here. This thing here just pops in to a place like that and just sits in there, just pops in and then on top of it you've got this grill which again has these little poppers that, that pop in and stay in place. So very simplistic. So I'll just finish this off and then we can get this back into the car. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we are going to start taking the headliner off the car because we need to take the airbags off and replace them. And the only way we can do that is by taking the headliner off. Now, I could just take it off and do it that way. And I've started taking this size off, as you can see the handles are off, but it's gonna be much easier with the headliner off. So let's start doing that. And then we can then take the airbags off. And then once we get the airbags off, we can then put the, um, the dashboard back in. Now, some of you were in the questions, you mentioned about the fact that I was giving you a little teaser on the um, fuses that blew. Well, they didn't fix the issue. The headlights, the main beams still do not work. So I'm not sure what those fuses fix. They are for the headlights, but um, they didn't fix my issue. Anyway, we'll continue on because we're not going to allow this to um, hold us up. So let's get this, let's get this headliner off. Okay, so with the roof liner removed, it means that we can now get to these airbag modules properly. We, we, I could have done it with the roof racking, the roof in place, the roof liner, but it would have been really complex and uh, difficult and challenging. So the best thing was to take it off. So we'll disconnect these after I disconnect the battery because I had to connect the battery up and then we can then order a couple of new ones. So we have that and then the same on the other side as well. So it's pretty straightforward. Right, next, dashboard. We're gonna get the dashboard in place in this episode, and then we'll test to see that everything is working. And then that will leave us with just waiting for these new airbags to arrive for us to replace on there.
Okay, so the dashboard has gone in pretty well. It is locked into place, just need to bolt it back up now. Um, there's only one thing, and I can't find this wire here. Don't know where that goes. It goes somewhere, it came out somewhere. Where it goes in, I have no idea at the moment. So I'm gonna continue and hopefully I'll get some inspiration and figure out where it goes. But everything that I've everything that I've got has been accounted for, included this here. So that multi-plug you have to plug in first. That's plugged in, in place. So it's not the speaker because the speaker's plugged in as well. And I've also plugged in the sensor at the top. That cable goes through there. And then we've got our three connectors for our MMI display. So what this is, I haven't a Scooby, but I'll figure it out. Probably I'll figure out what it is and I have to take the dashboard apart. Anyway, let's crack on. Okay, so center console time. So I've put it in place. Um, now we just gotta bolt it all up, fill it in properly, and then put this piece back in and connect that all up. And that way we can test the handbrake and make sure all that works. So let's crack on. Okay, so the next thing I need to do, I'm gonna stick my um, the MMI back in and then we're gonna put the glove box in. You've seen that we've got the AC in and that works fine. So if I turn it on now, you see that we've got AC and that works just the way it should do, which is great. So we'll get that in, we'll get the glove box in and then that dashboard will be back in working order. And then we'll give the car a little bit of a test to make sure it still drives and then we clear the codes down. So let's crack on. Okay, so we've got our MMI back into place now. And um, what I've done, I've left it loose um, to make sure that if there's any problems, I can take it out and fix it. So first thing we need to do is to check to see if our screen pops up. Here we go. So we've got our sat nav. Does it zoom in and out? Yep, it does, which is great. Uh, make sure that all the other functions work. So that's our radio. Our media, we don't have any media in there, and a mobile phone. That's all working, so all the controls here are working as we would expect, which is brilliant. We got our handbrake in. Um, let me put my foot on the brake, see if that works. Just release it. Yep, that's working fine. Okay. Good, so, MMI is back in, everything's working, dashboard is working, including our AC, 
I'll turn that off because we haven't got any pipes turned on but the main thing is that's all working so I'm gonna put my steering wheel back in put the airbag in here but not before I disconnect the battery again for safety okay right so next airbag to put in is the knee bag it goes under there very simple to put into place literally just goes on like that so it goes in like that and then we bolt it in and then connect it up so I'll do that off camera because I can't get an angle where I can put the camera safely and for you to see but you'll see it done in a second right so knee airbag is in and connected up and we've put the trim back in as well so the next thing that we need to do now is the steering wheel that i will show you okay so we've taken all the airbags out now so these are the last remaining blown ones these are the curtain ones for left and right and this is the seat airbag that we've taken off as well so we've ordered everything here except for one side and um, we're just waiting for it to arrive but unfortunately due to corona virus this is taking an extended long period of time so um, it's really slowed us up now because we've done as much as we can on a car um, until we get the bits that we need to finish off then we're kind of stuck really so um, even repairing the seat you can see where we've taken the old airbag out from it was quite simple really it's just one one little bolt down the bottom here but I can't even get the seat repaired because obviously the person or the company that I'm using are disconnected at the moment I've got a little problem with the um, I've put the airbag in as you saw but it's not sitting correct and I can't get it back out now was real pig and at the moment what happens is if I just touch the uh, uh, horn it's triggering the horn so it's staying on which is real pain so I need to somehow get this off without damaging it and then pull it back again but these things are sent to test us other than that everything else is uh, back in the car and, and all completed okay so we're taking the opportunity to put the um, AC pipes back in the car um, and connect up the um, pressure switch which we need for the um, fan heater I've taken the fan out as you can see because to get the AC pipes in which go down there it's impossible to do it with a fan in place so I've taken that out they're not connected they're just under the bonnet here loose um, but we will connect them um, probably in a in a very near future episode so that's the AC now back in there's one pipe missing I'll show you that now so this pipe here is missing and the reason why I'm not using this pipe because the end piece here is broken it broke off when we originally um, took it off the the car so I've ordered this piece but it's not here and it won't be here for a while because it's been held up in the post because non-essential deliveries are not getting through so until we get that done we kind of uh, come to the end of the road in terms of um, pushing the car forward so that's it for this episode and I'm um, not sure when I'm next going to be able to upload a video. I may put a few things up but um, in terms of the car until we start getting more parts for it we kind of um, we can't really go any further. We've gone as far as we've got. I've ordered airbags, I've ordered uh, pipes for the um, what you've seen for the AC system and crash sensors but can't really do anything until those bits arrive here. So. Um, yeah, that's it for this week. So thank you for viewing. Don't forget to subscribe down here if you can. Um, really helps our channel. We need to grow this channel because um, our numbers are beginning to slow down. And I'm trying to make these as long as possible, but I'm trying to also make it interesting at the same time. So apologies for those who perhaps don't think that the videos are long enough, but it is a little bit challenging unless you've got the material. So um, hope that helps. Hope you understand that. And uh, we'll see you as soon as possible. Have a good week.